one. Thanks to the blue LED, we can now get white light sources which have very high energy efficiency and very long lifetime. Well, Professor Nadaraja Narendra is Director of Research at the Lighting Research Centre at New York's Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. He joins us now from Washington. Thank you very much for being there. I think that uh, little clip uh, showed us how white light uh, is emanated from combining blue, red and green. But blue LEDs, they were the toughest to invent, weren't they? That's true. And uh, that, that was the challenge uh, that was in hand when uh, these uh, three Nobel laureates uh, discovered the blue light. And now, as a result, we have the white illumination that's being used worldwide. Yeah, and just explain for us why it was uh, tough for them to discover it and, and produce it. It was, uh, it, they, they had to get the right semiconductor materials and also the growth process of creating these semiconductors to emit uh, blue light. In fact, there was uh, other technologies prior to that that produced the, the blue illumination, but the light output was nowhere close to usable. So with the invention that these three Nobel laureates have had, uh, they were able to produce high intense uh, blue light. White LED light is known to be very energy efficient, especially in comparison to the traditional light bulb. Can you explain why? Because a traditional light bulb basically uh, produces light uh, based on current passing through a metal filament. Uh, and uh, so most of the the, the energy in the filament is, is in the form of heat. Only about 5 to 6 percent uh, of the energy produces light in an incandescent lamp. Whereas uh, in an LED technology, uh, you have more than uh, 30, 35 percent of the energy is converted to light. That's, that's the reason we have much more energy efficiency with LED lighting today. And where do you believe its uh, future applications lie? Uh, right now, uh, the, the technology has matured to a point that you're able to light up uh, houses, offices, industries, and at the same time, they are touching almost every aspect of science uh, and, and scientific applications, even including uh, physiology. So the medical community is looking at the, the blue and the white LED for adjusting, for instance, the circadian rhythm. And also what we are going to be seeing is the applications uh, the blue LEDs have shown in backlight, in te televisions and cell phones. And also going forward, I mean, we are already seeing this technology in automobiles and uh, other transportation applications as well. Professor Nadaraja Narendran there in Washington for us. Thank you very much. Well, you're watching Newsday on the BBC Live from Singapore and London.